Let's take a look at the top five hotels in Boston. Number five, the Revolution Hotel. The Revolution is the result of a to the studs renovation of a former historic YWCA and hostel in Boston's South End. So while the developers outfitted the building with utilitarian chic rooms and art-filled community spaces, it's clear from the smallest room categories with shared bathrooms that this building had a previous life. Young travelers flocked to the property for competitively priced rooms. The Revolution does a great job of delivering serious stylish value in the heart of a city where hotel rooms can easily cost twice as much as they do here. If you're flying solo and cringe at the idea of shared bathrooms, there's an in-suite, entry-level category, so you can keep your privacy and stick to your budget. Pairs may want to upgrade to the studio suites or newly added Revolution lofts, which are located next door to the main hotel building. The Revolution sits at the confluence of Black Bay, the South End, and downtown Boston, in the heart of none of those neighborhoods but a two-minute walk to each of them. The property offers complimentary bike rentals so you can cruise around and explore too. Number four, Four Seasons Hotel, 1 Dalton Street, Boston. With the opening of the 61-story 1 Dalton, Boston joined New York City, San Francisco, Miami, and Beverly Hills as the fifth U.S. city with two Four Seasons hotels. The older property is located on Stone's Throw away from Bolston Street. In addition to 215 hotel rooms and suites, One Dalton also houses 160 private residences, a spa and pool, and two restaurants. One plus one for upscale American food with a New England bent, plus Zuma, the 12th location worldwide for the contemporary is a Kaya chain and a destination in itself. Newbury and Boylston Street's ample shopping and dining are within a five minute walk. And some of the city's largest cultural destinations, the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston Symphony Hall, and the Boston Public Library are also well within walking distance. Number three, the Newbury Boston. Situated on one of Boston's most picturesque corners, the Newbury Boston opened in May 2021 after a two-year renovation. Its 286 rooms include a whopping 90 suites, some with wood-burning fireplaces, birch logs provided, and views of the downtown skyline across the park. In the no Bostonians flock to the rooftop restaurant Contessa, which is currently booking up weeks in advance. Meanwhile, stylish art types come here for the curated walls of art featuring works and homages to some of America's most iconic creators, from a portrait of Ernest Hemingway by Yusuf Karsh beside the lobby bar to paintings from artists such as Elise Ansel throughout the property. Rooms from $476. Number two, the Whitney Hotel. At first glance, the Whitney looks like Beacon Hill's coolest new condo building, thanks to large windows, chic signage, and gleaming new architecture. In reality, it offers a personal and intimate hotel experience. Its location near the Charles River Esplanade will let you eschew the obvious tourist sites and take on the expert perspective of a wealthy local. And the staff's tendency to go out of its way to accommodate families and their dogs make a stay here comfortable in every imaginable way. Number one, the Verb Hotel. Originally a 1959 Motor Inn, the Verb is a beautifully restored hotel that pays homage to the building's funky past, as the Howard Johnson, where bands like Aerosmith stayed when they played the nearby House of Blues, while maintaining contemporary finishes and comforts. The lobby, where the sense of fun is immediately apparent, feels like a recording studio. The check-in desk is covered with Fox sound-absorbing upholstery. The walls are lined with vintage music posters, and a black and white floor stands in graphic contrast against Curalian walls and a banana yellow couch. The ground floor restaurant Hojoko is a lively Japanese izakaya from the team behind Oya that attracts plenty of locals. Pool view rooms overlook the sun deck out back, and in summer, the outdoor heated saltwater pool is the area's hippest place to lay out with the Mai Tai while listening to the roar from Fenway across the street. Which one of them would you like to visit? Thanks for watching.